it's that family structure don't mean it's always going to be the little ideal stuff you see on TV. Right. You know, for us, grandmama was always a part right. of that family. Right. And I think one thing I've been noticing is just the breakdown of the family right now in our society. Um, I was giving a talk uh, about a year ago at a school. I asked the girls, I said, listen, um, I said, how many of y'all have had your heart broken by some guy out there? And they all, oh, yeah, me, me, this and that, whatever. I said, okay. I said, how many of y'all um, have fathers who may not be present in your life? Like, they, they may give you some money here and there, but they're not mm -hmm. present. They all raise a hand. Yeah. I said, so do you think, though, that perhaps that you are dating these boys who think they're men or whatever uh, because you're trying to get them to play, take the role of your daddy or whatever? Uh -huh. And those boys probably don't have a daddy either, and so they don't know what it means to be a man, and so that's why they treat you like they treat you. And all the girls just are thinking. And I told them, I said, now listen, I said, that's why I want to be a priest. That's why I want to be a father, because I want to show you what the, the love of a father is like. Exactly. And so you as a priest, yeah, you don't have um, kids from a marriage or whatever, but you, you do have a lot of kids. And so you're taking what you learned from your parents or whatever, your household, and you're being a father to a lot of, a lot of kids who are even coming from broken homes. What is that like? You know, w one of the, the toughest things for me when I entered the seminary was the realization that I was not going to have my own family. Right. You know, before I was into the seminary, I was a public school teacher. You know, I taught elementary school, you know, sixth grade for a couple of years and then third grade. Then, of course, after being, you know, in the public schools for three <laughs> celibacy really ain't that tough. <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, you're like, you know, I could do this. Yeah. But what I realized is that, you know, I would have an opportunity to, to be a father, to be a mentor to an awful lot of young right. folk. Yeah. And I've been blessed to, to uh, have, you know, a, a mentoring relationship with, with a, a few young individuals mm -hmm. and have watched them grow up, have watched them, you know, develop. And so in, in a real way, real way, God multiplied mm -hmm. what I thought I was going to be missing yeah. and, you know, and gave it back kind of like Job, once again, yeah. a hundredfold. Yeah. You know, but to have that opportunity to watch someone grow up, to see them go through the whole journey. I've had all the discussions with some of the boys that daddies have to have. Yeah. You know, uh, sometimes I've used some of the words that daddies have to use, you know. <laughs> and so, you know, but, but I've had that chance to, to really mentor them and, and really get excited when you see them turn out as yeah. solid. Looking at the structure of the families, I can also say that, you know, just watching here at Our Lady Star of the Sea, there, there's this whole swing back to real family life. Mm -hmm. In our church, we have so many young couples coming to church together 